What's up everyone, George here, and it feels like the sky is falling. Just last week, we saw the stock market soar because of unemployment data showing unemployment is still at an all-time high, and that means interest rates are staying the same, which investors like to hear. But this week, CPI data came in showing inflation was higher than expected, causing a massive panic sell-off to ensue. On top of that, Colonial Gas Line was forced to shut down, causing people to fill up grocery bags with gas. And I don't think that's what they were made for. So let's talk why everything's happening. Now, just last week, unemployment data came in showing that 266,000 jobs were added to the economy, which is great until you see the estimates were for a 1 million. So we fell pretty short. And what happened? Well, the stock market rallied to all time highs because struggling economy means interest rates staying low and investors love low interest rates. This is mainly because traders value certain companies at high multiples of what they're actually worth because they're projecting future values. And interest rate is a big part of the valuation equation. But hear me out on this one. With unemployment still very high, that means a lot of people are still collecting their unemployment stimulus. That extra $300 a week plus 70% of their income. And you don't have to read headlines to find out that we're in a job crisis. Employers are begging to find employees. Go to, go to any fast food restaurant. You will see them giving out cards, bonuses to find referral bonuses for employees because nobody wants to work anymore. And I think that's mainly because people rather collect their unemployment than go back to work. Why work when you can make 70% of your income staying at home? especially for minimum wage. And this is likely going to last until September when the unemployment boost ends and people aren't getting 70% of their income stimulated from the economy and just print it out and they'll need to go back to work, which will slowly reduce inflation because we're not just printing out money for everybody. And all of this leads me to my next point that left the market in shambles this week. Inflation. The Fed measures inflation in a really simple way. They buy a bunch of things, and they price it out and they do it every month. And based on the change is the inflation rate. And that's called the Consumer Price Index or CPI. People were expecting CPI data to be up, but when they found out it actually increased 4.2%, it shook the market because people were expecting inflation to rise about one to 2% and it doubled that. While some of it was caused by the used car industry spiking about 10% in value because of the chip shortage, New cars can't be manufactured, so used cars are going up because we don't have enough cars to sell to people right now. So that helped spike inflation prices. And what followed was one of the biggest sell-offs since January in the stock market. But what's this mean for the future market? Well, this could indicate a slight correction. If you look at the S&P, it was closing record high after record high with no stoppage in sight. Even with low interest rates, the tech sector was suffering, but you could see the S&P just continued to smash records. Something had to give. Now, I'm not saying the stock market is finished. Just brace yourself for a little pain in the coming months. I don't see unemployment lessening anytime soon. And with the feds continue to print out money, I see inflation to slowly uptick, which means rates may go up and bonds may become more appealing to investors again, which will rotate money out of the stock market into bonds. So until unemployment benefits end in September, we're likely to see the money printer keep going, inflation continue to rise, and bond yields go up as rates get more expensive to try to counteract inflation, which means the stock market will suffer. Oh, did I mention on top of all of this, the Colonial Pipeline recently got hacked with ransomware and was forced to shut down? They transported about 2.5 million barrels of gas a day which supplied 45% of the population on the East Coast. You'd think after getting hacked, they would have some manual knob to like open up the pipe again maybe, but they're probably far too advanced for that. Now recently they did reopen the pipeline, but they're saying it could be weeks until they resupply their reserves. But what you have now is a mass panic of people thinking they're gonna run out of gas to where they're literally taking shopping bags from the grocery store and filling them up with gas shopping bags with gas that's not what they were made for they were made for putting broccoli and cereal inside them and yeah gas is getting a price hike but i don't think that's due to inflation that's just a supply chain issue so from what i've gathered we're in for some interesting times 
If you're in the stock market, be prepared for a little pain. But I think the recovery bounce will be good, especially with this infrastructure bill. So buckle up for the ride. Just don't go to your local gas station and fill up your grocery bags with gas because there's literal gas containers for that that aren't grocery bags. But guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.